I gotta go to work. Show. Should right. we take him with you us? You go over yes, there. Please do. <laughs> well done, Chris well and Jay. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. David and Linda's turn now on an all new <laughs> sports center. Come David, on, Elko. Where's your first step? Beginning. Get over here. I have to walk through the camera. Maybe here we, we can have the astronaut take my spot. He, he would be a good one. No, no, no. I need you around. He would be a heck of a I need you around. All right, okay, I'm back. Tell. All right, I go. This is hey, live. This is live. This is Sports Center. That's David Lloyd. Congratulations, Elko. Thank you. Excited. And coming up here on Sports Center, how about those Clippers looking to go somewhere they have never gone before? Coming up, Doc Rivers on what it will take to get the Clippers to the conference. Dolphins uh, open with two road games, then host two division rivals uh, before bye week. They meet the Patriots for the first time in week eight. What about the Buffalo Bills? Well, this is something that struck me. They say that if the NFL has direct or inculpatory evidence, then that they should be confident enough to present their case before someone who is truly independent. What would the point to hear this, correct? Typically, it, now it's interesting to note that in, in previous cases, he's been accused of bias, like in the Saints case. Uh, in this particular case, he hired Ted Wells to investigate, so he didn't handle that part of it like he did in the Saints situation. And he specifically did not discipline in this case because he deferred to Troy Vincent. All right, much more ahead. This story isn't going anywhere. Edwarder, glad you're not either.